and I'm here with Navajo. Okay. Who plays or who's who and who plays what? Start here. I'm the drummer. I'm Anthony. I'm I'm Nick. I do vocals. I'm Ricky. I play guitar. Stetson. I play bass. Dylan. I also play guitar. Alright, which are you guys? Like a like a post hardcore deathcore hybrid yeah. genre. Cross between all. Yeah, it's like a it's like a deathcore, but not not quite. Mix, mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> what are three personal influences that you guys have? Plus the fall. Plus the fall. Yeah. For me at least, and for Dylan, I'm yeah. sure. But then our. Me. He's got metal. He's got metal. I got a death metal. Kettle course. <laughs> Rap music. So. Metal course a little bit more my alley. No, they didn't ask the question like at all. Yeah. Like she asked who your influences were, and y'all just threw out genres. <laughs> well, influences <laughs> specifically. Um, yeah, there's too many to name. Uh, like uh, Pierce Bell. Yeah, yeah they're really Pierce Bell is definitely top of the list. <laughs> How'd you guys come up with Now Talk to Me? Oh, shit, <laughs> I hate this question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, see, what, we we were in high school, right? Yeah. And. Uh, we were, I was learning about uh, Navajo code talkers in World War II in history class, and I thought that Navajo, the, the name, just sounded cool. But uh, it turned out to have a lot more like backlash than we really thought, because like from like actual Navajo people like messaging us on like Facebook and stuff, like, "Hey, what's the fucking name, man?" And we're just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> so no, just, I mean, it's just an admiration to the name, and we like it. So. Yeah, I mean, we got total respect for like Navajo people. Stuff like that. It's, just, it's not a diss, even if they take it that way. And a lot of them are super cool with it. A lot of them are like, oh yeah, like at first I was like, that's weird, but like cool music. And then a lot of them are also like, hey, y'all suck. Right? It's like, the <laughs> younger generation likes it, but their parents find it yeah. offensive. Which that was the point, is to not be offensive. Pretty much encompasses us in the band. The younger generation likes us, but the, their parents hate us. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard my mom and all these When will the CD be released? The chair, the, 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 the yeah, uh, or spring. Yeah, we're aiming for a springtime release, hopefully. Hopefully, it'll be ready by then. Uh, we've been working on it pretty hard. We got a couple good tracks out of it. We just got a lot more work to do before it's perfect enough for us to release it. Like, we want to make sure that when we drop this album, it's just like it does really, really well for us. Uh, so, yeah, we're aiming for like a springtime release, maybe, maybe later, but hopefully, spring. When, oh, what's it been like sharing the stage with successful bands like uh, Mushrooms and White, uh, Alasana, Crown, and Empire? Oh uh, yeah, um, it's been it's been really really nice. Like it's cool because their fans always have such a high energy, and it makes us feel better about ourselves as performers. And you know, it's just really awesome that we get the opportunities to share like stages and play shows, bands that we look up to and have inspired us to be you know musicians ourselves. Cool. I like it. Okay. Um, when are we gonna start in the band? Did you guys expect to be where you are now, like this fast? This fast? We're we're, we're glad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not necessarily. Like um, when when uh, we first started the band, it was kind of like we first started the band because another band that I was previously in just like broke up and we had a show 